Hi, this is Ashwati Dinil from English House. You know, I have been an eloquent English speaker all my life. But I understood that in spite of being a fluent speaker, there were some errors that I was making a lot until I was pointed out. So today, I'm going to tell you some errors that you can probably rectify to make your language error-free. Now, the first mistake that I constantly made was when asked, what did you do yesterday? I would say, I and my brother, we went out. So, you never use the pronoun I in the beginning. So, the ideal way of saying it would be, my brother and I, we went out yesterday, or my brother and me, we went out yesterday. Okay? So, this is an error that we make very often. I'm sure that you're all able to resonate when I'm saying this. So, please use your pronoun after the, after the person, like my brother and me, or my brother and I. Now, the second error, any place, whether you go for an interview, whether you go for a meeting or whether you're meeting somebody new, the first thing that you're asked is please introduce yourself. And this answer increases your chances of employability, of creating a rapport. I don't know, many, many reasons which I'm not listing out right now. But a lot of people say, myself, I'm Suresh or myself, I'm Ashwati. Okay? You never use the word myself. You only have to say, I am Suresh, I am Ashwati. Don't have to use the word twice. Myself means I am, you know, at the end of the day. And it's not a correct usage. So when asked, introduce yourself, just say, I am Ashwati. That'll do. Now, the third error is an error that I have been making all my life. And I'm sure when I say this, you're going to say, oh my God, I did not even know it was a mistake. That's the same feeling that I had. When I would constantly tell people, I can't really cope up with the stress. I can't cope up with his behavior. I can't cope up with that person. Well, you don't have to use the word up after cope. So after the word cope, which means to adjust, you just have to use the preposition with. So you would say, I cannot cope with this behavior. I can't cope with the pressure. I can't cope with the anger. That's it. Okay, so do not use the word cope up. You might think you're saying something really good, but that is wrong. So do not use cope up, only use cope with. Now another, I wouldn't call it an error, a better way of saying it. You know, sometimes there is no wrong language and right language, but there's always a better way of saying and doing things. A lot of times when you're asked your opinion about something or your take on something or what you think about something, you would say, according to me, I think that's true. Well, a very, very rectified and very nice way of saying it is in a very polite way. According to me is a very strong statement. It means like, it's just my opinion, you just have to take it. So another nice way of saying it is, in my opinion, I think that might be true or that is true. So, you can avoid using according to me and use a more uh, fine way of saying it, which is in my opinion. Now, another error or rather, these are all errors that I am making. So, my first instinct to say is another error I've made all my life. So, I would continue it like that. Another mistake that I've made quite often is when you compare. So, I like to eat Chinese food than Indian food. Okay. Or I like English better than science something like that so whenever you use a comparison you say i like chinese food i prefer chinese food to indian i prefer english to science you don't have to say i prefer english than the word than is wrong you just have to say i prefer english to science i prefer indian food to chinese okay so these i'm sure all these errors are errors that you've made and now I'm sure you realize that your language has not been error free all this while. But from here on, I at least hope that these five errors that we've just spoken about or these five commonly made mistakes are rectified and you have a beautiful language coming out from here. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you're just not only watching it but also applying all the knowledge that you have just received now. You probably will have to watch this video three, four times to really get this in your system. So please go ahead, do that and let's speak, you know, good language.